Welcome back. I'm with Riley Cooper, who's a lead designer on Tomb Raider Legend. Riley, thank you so much for being here. Happy to be here. Great. How's the show going for you guys? Uh, it's going pretty well. People seem pretty uh, happy with what we're showing. Yeah, I know you're showing behind closed doors, right? We are. So what you guys are seeing at home right now is what not everyone on the floor is even seeing. They have to have a private appointment to go backstage with this guy and see the game. So you consider yourselves very lucky. So. Um, <laughs> Tomb Raider legend. I mean, Tomb Raider has an enormous legacy, enormous history, and um, it looks like you've been given a microphone to use. It, does that work? <laughs> Try that. Oops, is it on? Hello? Test? Yeah? Is that working? We'll get our microphone situation. You know, it's the end of the day. There we go. Something just worked. Is that working? No, I think it was this one. Just this one, okay. Yeah, Here so we go. hold it up close. All right, Sorry no about that. No problem. Um, so Tomb Raider has an enormous legacy, yeah. and Lara Croft, and so heading out of where Tomb Raider has, you know, the point that Tomb Raider was at, and heading into the new era of Tomb yeah. Raider Legend, yeah. what is your strategy, what is your plan, what's going to happen in Tomb Raider Legend? Okay, uh, I can answer that question. Yeah. The, the last <laughs> six, it up a little? closer? Okay. Yeah. The last six games were done by Core, uh, another studio in IDOS. This one's the first time Crystal Dynamics is doing the game. Yep. Crystal Dynamics, the team that's doing it is uh, the Legacy of Kane team. Our last effort was uh, Legacy of Kane Defiance, so a team with a large, long history of doing action adventure games. So when we got this opportunity, and it is a huge opportunity, Lara is one of the most well-known characters in video games, we, uh, we, we looked long and hard and really thought through what we were going to do. The main things that we kind of found were that Lara is still a very cool character. People are still excited to hear about her, still want to see her really in a great game. Right. And the main thing that that meant was updating her controls, actually. Yeah. And we, we've taken that one step farther. Uh, not only is she up to date, but we think we're pushing the envelope just a little bit on what a character in a third-person action adventure can do. And when yeah. you say um, updating the controls, what was most yeah. important to you in well, that? Well, uh, probably the biggest switch was getting off the grid-based system. So in AOD and previous Tomb Raiders, you had to take two steps back to jump forward yep. to, to line up your jumps. Now you just run and jump and slide and swing and grab ledges. You do everything you think that Lara should be able to do, and it's very easy. And now Tomb Raider Legend is also hearkening back to the early days of so many people hold dear about Tomb Raider, kind right. of looking at what made Lara such an icon. Right. And um, so could you tell us about the storyline and what, what Legend can, will be about? I can tell you just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so there's one thing that fans of the series will know is that... A little closer. Closer. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. That's all right. So there's one thing that fans of the series will know, which is that in Lara's bio, it says there's something that happened to her in the Himalayas, which made her who she is. In Tomb Raider Legend, we're going to go to the Himalayas, and you're going to find out what that was. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's a much more personal storyline than there's ever been. Okay. Yeah, and that's probably the biggest thing. The other aspect is just that we are dealing with a legend in this game. Mm -hmm. There is a, a, a myth a well-known myth that Lara delves into and intertwines directly with her personal story and her personal evolution in the game. Okay. Yeah. And now, of course, one of the huge draws in Tomb Raider, the environments. So yes. where, will Lara go, where will Lara go and what sort of environments will she be well, in? Well, uh, on the screen behind me, she just got through uh, one of uh, a huge vista in West Africa, a classic vista. Right now, she's actually solving an ancient puzzle. Uh, this is an example of how we've gone away from blocks and switches and two larger, more dynamic events. This is just one example of the kind of events that occur in this game, and they're all caused by you. Occasionally the world will surprise you, but most of the time Lara is the one pushing the action. Uh, so now we've just, you know, the other, I guess the other big point I want to make right now as we're seeing this on screen is that Tomb Raider Legend is about going back to the tombs. About going back to the tombs, yeah. yep. Yeah, so unfortunately in AOD you spend about two hours in the abandoned streets of Paris. Mm -hmm. We identified that as maybe a mistake. Okay, It yeah. is Tomb Raider after all, so within two minutes, you know, you're in the thick of it. Okay, great, yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah. And, and so what are Lara's weapons? What will she use this time? Well, she always has her pistols. Yeah, both. She pretty much doesn't leave home without them. Yeah, on each hip. Good. As they've always been. But she can pick up any enemy's weapon. So once she kills someone, she can pick up their rifle, their uh, shotgun, their RPG, a whole suite of weapons. Uh, one other detail related to that is we've gone with a more realistic Lara. 
So when she picks up a weapon, she doesn't put it in her backpack of infinite space. Yeah. She actually wears it on her body. You can see oh, wow. it. She runs around with it on her. Okay. She can carry one weapon at a time. One, okay. Yeah, but she can get any any enemy's weapon. So, okay, so yeah. she has to drop one to pick up another. Yes. So you got to be selective. In addition to her pistols. Okay. And grenades. Okay. Yeah. And um, so now when you say Lara is more realistic, in, in what other ways? How else has Lara changed? Well, in her model. I mean, uh, if you look at it closely, and we may at some point here, uh, you'll see that she has a collarbone. She has, like, uh, tendons in her neck. And wow. She has tendons in the back of her knees. So she's becoming, like, a real live person. Absolutely. We actually, we even took her model beyond the stage that we're at now, and it got creepy how real she was. Wow. So we dialed it back to the, as real as you would ever want Lara to be. Now, will there be, um, can you tell me about the, tell me about the levels, or how much detail can you give? I'm not I sure. Go, I'm going to tell me. Detail. So right now, yeah. like, on the screen here, Lara's in a West Africa. She's in a remote jungle in Ghana. Uh, a temple that no one had discovered before. Well, she does have company here. She always has competitors. But uh, she goes, there's eight levels in the game. Each one is in a different location, like very different. She hits just about every continent. So uh, she's globe trotting again. Okay. And, uh, and yeah. Okay. I'm going to see um, if you want to talk to us a little bit more. We have a lot of questions coming in. Okay. Um, I'm going to find some here. Whoops. So could you talk a little bit more about her moves and some of the movements that she will do, which she's so well known for? Uh, pretty much. If there's a, a surface you can imagine, she can move on it. Uh, slopes, ropes, ledges, ladders, poles. I know I'm forgetting some because there's a lot. She's just extremely mobile. Um, and if you, you know, in the video, you can see just how fluidly she does that. There's some sequences where you can stream together four and five moves in a row. So uh, hopefully putting to rest any concerns that uh, we've been stuck in the past because it didn't work for right. these Tomb Raiders. Yeah. Okay. She controls well now. Yeah. And what do you think that um, what do you think that people really like about Lara that you wanted to get back to or to maintain? Uh, there's a few things. I mean, one is clearly that she's a she's a sexy character. So uh, I think we've done that justice in this more up-to-date version of Lara. She still is sexy, and she's still in control of it. You know, I think that's yeah. one of the reasons that makes her compelling. Yeah. Yeah. And she's very powerful. She does use her guns when she needs to. Yeah. She's not about combat, but she will fight if someone's getting in the way of her goal. So I think those are the things, and I think this game gives her a chance and gives you a chance in playing the game to experience that. Okay, we have a question from Manny Brown. He's um, emailing from the UK, and he wants to know how difficult the puzzles are as, a, as compared to the original game. Uh, I, I would say they're, they're incomparable. It's hard to talk about difficulty strictly. Uh, previous games really focused on blocks and switches. You know, you'd pull a switch in one room and a door a couple miles away would open up and you have to find out where that was. Now all the puzzles are in the spaces you're in, and it's all large and physical. Um, in this demo behind me, we've seen her interacting with ancient mechanisms in this one tomb where she's using her own force or the force of her tools like her grenade or the turret to basically unjam ancient mechanisms so it's just a it's it's really incomparable to the past and there's yeah. challenge but yeah. it's intuitive so yeah yeah and how difficult will you say it is overall uh, overall, well, we're going to have three difficulty levels, so okay. you can pick the difficulty that's appropriate for you. I mean, you will still have to take risks in moving through these spaces, but uh, we'll have a lot of checkpoints, which a lot of people are happy to hear about. So right, right, absolutely. if you want to replay a level, you can, but you don't have to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a question from the Netherlands, which you've touched on a little bit. Yeah. Um, it looks like Lara's, Lara's changed a little in her face. Why has that decision been made? Um, we actually didn't set out to change her face. I mean, one of the things people uh, maybe don't know is that we pulled on Toby Gard, who was actually the character designer, Lara's character designer in <laughs> Tomb Raider 1, and he's now the character designer on our project. Yeah. So there's no intention to change her, really, at all. It's just to bring her up to date. Okay. So when you look at her, hopefully what you're seeing is just more detail and more completeness just in the way she looks. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, from California... Jacques Pretorius wants to know, how long will it take to finish the single-player game? Uh, we're, we're looking at around 10 to 12 hours, but uh, we're also going to looking for a lot of replay here. Uh, the game is about exploration and discovery, so we're going to have goodies hidden throughout all the environments. Uh, also, our puzzles are a little bit open-ended. A lot of them, and one of them you saw here, was the problem was to knock a pillar onto a wheel to unjam it. You can knock that pillar over three different ways in that puzzle alone. You could shoot oh. it with the turret, as I mentioned. You yeah. could swing into it with a rope. You could uh, 
throw a grenade at it. So, I mean, more than I can even remember. So there's plenty of possibilities in the game, yeah. And could you say anything else about the other characters in the game? Um, we're going to introduce some new people. Lara has a bad habit of killing characters uh, that she encounters. So we've had to introduce some new ones. There are some from the past as well. Uh, you'll be introduced to a new, really powerful nemesis who also has a lot of money and also is sort of a globetrotter and is also looking for the same artifact Lara is, so she'll have competition every step of the way. And there's a new female character who uh, Lara has a little oh. competition with as well. Wow. Yeah. Can you mention her name? Uh, I can't mention her name. Okay. Yeah. But we know she's there. But we know she's there. Okay. It'll be fun. Excellent. Yeah. And now what about the, um, it, will, there, will there be any vehicles or? Uh, we're any? not quite ready to talk about that. I wish we could. Okay. Which yeah. kind of means that maybe yes, maybe no. All right. <laughs> How many times going to reword the question? All right. Um, what about the sound and the music? And um, kind of well, we have a, a composer who's focused on scoring the whole experience. Even in this demo, if we could hear it, you'd hear that it's really a film score. Okay. It's film quality. So you hear just a, just a whole orchestra scoring each action that you do. So when you solve a puzzle, you'll just you'll hear uh, just the emotion that's involved. Okay. Previous Tomb Raiders, that's one of the things they always did well, so we're certainly not looking to let that down. And, and Laura, of course, will have her kind of cheeky commentary still, right? Absolutely, and actually more so than previous games. Really? She has a, she has a headset, kind of like what we're wearing. Yeah. And she can talk to her tech team who are back at her mansion at all times. Wow. Well, yeah. hopefully she doesn't have to have a microphone and a headset, no, because that no. can be tricky with the she, pistols. She's doing a little better than we are right now, yes. <laughs> As I can imagine. Yeah. Um, you have about a minute left. Is there okay. anything else you want to add about the game, like when it's coming out? Yeah, Any sure. Other? It's coming out in winter. It's, okay. It's about as much detail as I can give okay. on that. It's going to be on PS2, Xbox, and PC simultaneous. We actually have all three at the show. Okay. All in basically the same state. Okay. Any differences between the those three? Yeah. Uh, we're going to up-res the textures on Xbox and PC. We're going to run at a slightly higher frame rate. Okay. Uh, but basically, it's the same game on all three platforms. And most people who see the PS2 version ask us if it's Xbox. Really? So really, if you've got the system, you can play the game, and you're going to be happy. Okay. Yeah. And uh, quickly, just about the graphics. Uh, well, one of the key things that we have is a streaming engine. It's actually about the fifth or sixth generation of this streaming engine. Okay. What that allows us to do is put all the memory of each console on screen. Basically, if you're not looking at it, it's being dumped out of memory. Okay. So it, it allows us to do things that are just uh, much more impressive than you see in a lot of games. Okay, and um, what do you final word? What do you, word do you have to say to anyone who may have lost faith in the Tomb Raider series? Well, first of all, I understand. <laughs> you know, you played six games in a row, and they were all kind of the same. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go back to the tombs. Lara's gonna be more real than she ever has been. She's gonna control the way you've always wanted her to, and she's mm -hmm. gonna look great doing it. So, I don't think you're gonna be missing anything. Okay. I think you're gonna be relieved. All right, yeah. O'Reilly, thank you so much no for the problem. demo. We'll be showing you guys more at home. Right now we have some more E3 2005 for you. Take it away.